Hello and welcome to Knowledge by Nature. In today's video, I have a flip through for you of Apologia 2nd Edition Exploring Creation with Botany. So if that's something you are interested in, be sure and stick around. All right, recently I showed you something that we were using for plants, which is not Apologia, but this I was able to borrow from a friend to kind of look through it to see what I thought about it. And I thought since I had it, I would give you a flip through as well. Now Apologia, their series, they've been revamping a little bit. So this is like the second edition, as I mentioned, and it looks different from like their first editions and there's been different changes that's been made to it. I believe this one came out in 2020. Yes, it says 2020 in there. And so there are other editions. So just make sure that when you're checking them out that you're looking at the edition that you want to. So Apologia is not secular, not even one little bit. This is absolutely a um, religious perspective on both of these. Now there are two different types of notebooking journals that you can get. This one happens to be the junior notebooking journal. And then there is another notebooking journal that is like for an older student. Now I think the biggest thing that we are going to find with the notebooking journal with the junior is that the pages that are like for the writing prompts are bigger spaces. So it gives them a bigger space to write anything. And I think there's also possibly some coloring pages included in the junior edition. Might not be in the other like regular notebooking journal. I'm also going to discuss whether I think this is actually necessary, but before we do that, let's go ahead and look at what you're going to be getting. Now, the one thing about this one that is much different than the one that I have that I'm using which is not Apologia, I'll put it down in the description, is this is a deep, deep dive. If you want to know all things botany and plants, this is what you want. If you want to skim the surface, this is may not be what you are after. But let's go ahead because there are some people that are super, super into botany. And if that is the case, this may be really, really great for you. Um, just to kind of first, it is a hardback, very, very nice quality um, textbook here. And this is very much a textbook. At the very beginning, it um, talks about the textbook, that there are regular and junior notebooking journals, that there is an audio book that you can purchase, and there's also a science kit that you can purchase to go along with all of these. Now, when you look at the table of contents, there are 14 lessons, which makes you think that, oh, you're going to get through this really fast. That is not the case. This is a full year curriculum, but each lesson is broken into a lot of pieces. So let's zoom in. So lesson one, it is why botany matters. And you can see that there are quite a few activities here. We go to activity 1.9. Lesson two is sleeping seeds or seeds. And then it starts with sleeping seeds. It goes through all of this, the anatomy of the seed, lots and lots of activities. We go to lesson three where we are on angiosperms, lots of activities again. Lesson four is pollination. And you can see just how many things are being covered in each lesson. Moving on to lesson five is fruit. Lesson six is... Lesson six is leaves. Lesson seven is roots. Lesson eight is stems. Lesson nine is gardening. Lesson 10 is trees. Then to round it out, we have lesson 11, 12, 13, 14, and the appendix. Then beginning the book, we have our introduction to botany where it talks about um, the living books, there are activities and experiments that are included within. There is a course website that you can go on that has um, updated links to like videos and maybe some books, things like that. And then the notebooking journals, which I already showed you the junior one, but I think you can definitely use your own journal as well. And I will show you why I think that and save yourself a little bit of money if you don't want to do the additional cost of the journal. But there are some very pretty things in the journal as well. Lesson one, 
Let's just look at the first lesson here, why botany matters. You can see it's very, very colorful. It is somewhat text heavy, I believe. There are quite a few images, but personally for me, this is just a tiny bit text heavy, but um, you have this little welcome about botany and what botany is. You have your creative creator, nature journaling. Then we have our first activity, which is think like a scientist. Then we have our next activity is where we are making a nature journal. We continue on through lesson one, where we are talking about the description and thoughts of the specimens. We have another activity, journal about nature, science of botany with the vocabulary of botany. We continue on with the biology of botanist, taxonomy. All of this is all still lesson one, which obviously you're not doing in one day. So this is where you can see this is really quite a lengthy lesson with lots of activities. We have two more activities here. We have activity 1.5 here, activity 1.6 here to seed or not to seed. We continue on where we have more activities last activity before we go on to lesson two. So you can see there is a lot covered in lesson one that a lot of times we think, oh, lesson one, we're gonna get done in one week. No, that is not the case. Now the problem I see with only getting the textbook is that it doesn't have any scheduling. It doesn't really let you know like, okay, stop here do this and so that is the downfall of only getting the textbook i think but the nature journal or the notebooking journal actually has the scheduling in it so if we open that up and this is just um cardstock and a spiral notebook here so again we have this first instructional support like we saw in the first page but then we come to we have a schedule and a parent guide we don't have a schedule or a parent guide inside the textbook so if you are using this for the first time you may want to invest in the journal just so that you get these extra resources but it could be that it's available somewhere too that I haven't been able to find. But we have a two day a week schedule is suggested. It says, please feel free to adjust the schedule like we do with anything. But you can see with week one, they are saying lesson one, why botany matters. And you're going to read the text pages 14 through 16. So let's jump over and let's just look at this really quick. So we would read 14, 15, and 16 okay so i'm assuming we would probably go over here and finish this maybe i don't know let's look then it says begin working on the botany coloring page in your nature journal page 26 so let's look at that page 26 they have a little coloring sheet with a verse down here at the bottom then it says add a sentence or drawing to fascinating facts about botany nature journal page 27 here we have fascinating facts and personal reflections so this is a page i don't know if that is going to be prompting us anywhere in here i don't specifically see anything about this so much over here in the textbook then we see begin the botany mini book which is nature journal page 43. so when we go to page 43 we see we, see we have our botany mini book here the green circle and they would begin creating that now let's jump back over here really quick just to see if we have that activity in here and again i'm not really seeing that over there so so far there's not a lot of doubling up on the activities yet and that would be your first um, day of lessons then lesson number one continues and so this would be your second day and we would read page 17 and 18 and it says narrate what you learned so we would read page 17 and we would read page 18 you see that we have an activity here of think like a scientist and that is where it says do activity 1.1 think like a scientist text page 18 nature journal page 28 
Here it has what I did, what I learned, draw your leaf below, but then it gives you this activity right here where you could kind of do your own little prompt in a notebook if you wanted to. So this has like extra activities if you need extra, but then there's also, you can do the activities in here without this book from what I understand. Then it says do activity 1.2 where you are making a nature journal. Right here for 1.2, it tells you how to make that nature journal. And we have a little sheet right here where you can create a pocket to store your nature journal. So you make your own nature journal and then there's like a little pocket included here. The next thing that it is telling us for day two is to read pages 19 through 20 and narrate what you learned. So here we are finishing up 19 and then we are reading page 20. Then it says do activity 1.3 where we are going to journal about nature. Let's go to our little book here and you can see there is the activity for 1.3 journal about nature. Really, really easy to do as far as you don't need this because there's plenty of activities here, but you're also not going to get the schedule, which if you haven't used this before, it could be really, really handy to know when to go, when to stop. But I think you could also just kind of look through it and get an idea of, all right, let's do read, read until we get to an activity and then maybe stop and pick up again. And that seems to kind of be how that is working. So you could read, read, stop and do your activity. That way, if you wanna do it more than two days or however you wanted to do it, you may end up needing to skip some activities. It could be that this has too many activities for you, or it could be that you do want this because you want the even the extra little activities as far as the coloring pages and things like that. Now, after the suggested weekly schedule, we have the parent guide. It tells you how to use the notebooking journal, the daily schedule, the coloring pages, fascinating facts, notebook assignments, activity documentation, the miniature books, the vocabulary reviews, creativity pages, and then there is this section here, what do you remember, review questions. So once you come to almost the very last part of your book here, of your lesson, you will see what do you remember, and there are all these questions here. So it says, before you move on to the notebooking activities, let's review what you've learned so far. So it has all of these questions right here, and if you go to the very, very back of the book, it has what do you remember, the answer key. And so you could even just go here, have all the questions and the answers, and this is in the very back of your textbook. And that is mentioned right here in this parent guide, but really you is not mentioned beforehand. You just find it within the lesson in the textbook. Then after that short little brief parent guide right there, you have a little bookmark that you can create and then it begins your lesson. So let's just flip through this. Let's see here. We've got fruits where you have your coloring page, a little write some interesting facts activity and observation. So you can see these are the activities that you're going to have in the textbook. So if I go to activity 5.1, we're going to observe insects on a banana. Activity 5.1, observe insects on a banana. It tells you what to do. So the only difference here is they're giving you kind of a picture of it and giving you some prompts. So this easily could be done without it, but you aren't going to get the teacher schedule guide, you're not going to get the parent notes, and you're not going to get the extra little um, activities or the little um, coloring pages and mini books if you don't get this. So it really would be how many activities do you want to do. So you can see some fun crossword puzzles that are added to it that you probably will not be getting over there. It is very nice and colorful. And then in the very back of the book, you have your solutions to the vocabulary words. So there's different vocabulary words that you're gonna be working on and all of those solutions are in the back of the journal. So I think this is a very, very beautiful textbook. I think you are going to have all sorts of, looks like relatively easy activities for the most part. There is a supply list in the very back of the textbook. So you can see right here, these are the things that you will need for each lesson. 
I think the main thing is you need to know that you are going to be doing plants all year long if that is what you're planning to stick with. Um, you could also split this up and do this for half of the year and then get yourself something else for half of the year and then pick this up for the next year. But this is considered a full year curriculum and that would be something that you wouldn't have to have anything else if you needed these, if you had these two things right here. Um, so I do not think that the journal is necessary with the exception of, I find that the schedule would be really handy, but I don't know that it's worth the cost for just the notebooking journal for the schedule when I think you could kind of figure it out after using it for a little bit and what felt comfortable for you. Um, so if you have any questions, let me know. I think it's a beautiful book and great for somebody that wants to study botany all year long. So give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Consider hitting that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.